Hi, this is Dan with StarViews.com, and today we're going to review the As Seen on TV product, the Perfect Cookie. Now, what the Perfect Cookie is, it's just a cookie press, and uh, here's what you get when you uh, when you get the kit. Mine is the dough that we're going to use to make the cookies today. You get all these things for decorating pastries, uh, as well as you can even pipe out your own cookies with this, or use these in conjunction with this tip here to you know fill monogot. Uh, you can fill uh, a couple of cannolis with it. Um, and just other pastries and things like that. Then you get all these metal uh, dishes here, and what these do is these go in the end of the unit, and as you squeeze this trigger, it's gonna send that plunger down, pushing the dough out through your template, and it's gonna give you shapes of cookies. Now to reset the, uh, the trigger here, push down the metal tab, pull it out, and it just works like a caulking gun. Every time you squeeze the trigger, it's gonna push the dough out. So uh, you're also going to get this storage container that screws onto the end. You can put all your uh, templates and all your filling tips in here, screw it onto the end, and then take this, uh, which would hold your cookie template, and you're going to screw that onto the end of that, and it just stores away nicely and keeps everything uh, you know, with the kit. So we're going to go ahead and put this perfect cookie to the test, and let's show you what kind of cookies we can make using the different tips we have here, and uh, maybe we'll get try to get fancy and make some of our own cookie uh, patterns using the pastry tips. Okay, um, we're going to go ahead and use this perfect cookie to press out a couple cookies and then uh, we're going to put this, uh, the cookies in the oven. So two, and then you just lift it and that's how you're going to get your cookie. And Two, lift it, press out your another cookie. We found that about two is about where you need to be to press out the cookies. So let's just go ahead and then uh, we're gonna change our shapes and we're gonna continue making cookies with different shapes. We're gonna cook them and before we put them in the oven, we'll show you how they look. Okay, so we changed templates and we even did some freehand work. You know, we really had a tough time getting any consistency out of the trigger pull on the perfect cookie. But regardless, you know, we, we tried our best to use some different templates, and we're going to throw these off into the oven, bake them, and let's see how these turn out uh, when they come out of the oven. But again, like I said, we had a really, really difficult time getting any kind of consistency out of that perfect cookie with the trigger pull. It seems like sometimes it would shoot the cookie out just fine, other times you'd have to pull the trigger a couple times, almost like it wasn't engaging the teeth on the device itself. So regardless, let's bake these. We'll be back when they're ready to come out of the oven and show you the end result. We just pulled our cookies out of the oven and really they lost most of their shape. The only cookie that kind of resembles what we pressed was this one. As you can see the sides of it, you know, kind of are fluted in but really not that perfect. This is actually the same exact cookie that we pressed out but look at uh, you know, how much it changed in shape. Uh, here are the Christmas trees that we piped out and obviously as you can see there, they're not really a uh, Christmas tree any longer. These are the ones we did by hand, and uh, you know they really lost a lot of their design. They're slightly textured on the top, but nothing, you know, nothing too textured. Um, so I'd say overall, the perfect cookie. We had a lot of trouble getting the mechanism to work consistently, and with that, uh, um, you know, we, we really weren't able to to develop any kind of rhythm to just make nice, consistent cookies. So for the pros of the product. Um, I, I struggle to find a couple pros. I mean, it, it, it's decent for piping out things. If you want to use the attachment and pipe things, you can fill, you know, monogot with it or cannoli shells, things like that. But for the cons of the product, I'm going to have to go ahead and say that it's really difficult. The mechanism isn't consistent. It's far from it. Um, the presses that, that the, the design disc that comes with the press, they're okay. There's no like really great designs. Overall, Star Views is going to have to give the product a two out of six stars. Um, it does in the direction of what they say it's going to do, but in no way, shape, or form does it perform as easily as they make it look on the infomercial. And if you're the type of person that's going to use a cookie press, you're probably better off going out and spending a little extra money and getting a nice, well-designed cookie press with some consistency because this thing's just going to give you nothing but headaches. Be sure to check out our other As Seen on TV product reviews and watch us review some better As Seen on TV products on our website at StarReviews.com.